Hi folks, my name is Ermitin de Forest. This is my unboxing of Death Knights of Kryn. This is a second game in SSI Goldbox Dragonlance trilogy. Uh, it is uh, based on Advanced Dungeons and Dragons rules and takes place in the Dragonlance game world. It is a role-playing game where you control a party of up to six adventurers and features. Top-down view. Mm, the story tells us about uh, infestation of the undead that appear everywhere throughout the land. And the ultimate evil is Lord Sot, who is resurrecting them and also he is resurrecting uh, the most powerful ancient warriors to serve him and his ultimate goal is to possess a body of storm bright blade that's some best warrior so you have to stop him well let's take a look at the box art it is beautiful like with all SSI gold box games. Now let's turn the box around and see the back side of the box for some info about the game and pictures from the game. Okay, now let's open the box and see what is inside. First of all the game of course, it comes on 5 and quarter inches discs, there are two, this is disc 1, this is disc 2. Then there is advertisement for a hint line, for some tips about this game, you could phone there at the time of this game's release. Then there is registration card. Some newsletter offer. Well, so some order form. Then there is data card for IBM. So some things about installing, setup, and basic tips about playing the game. Keyboard movement, so keyboard layout and playing with joystick, transferring characters from the first game in the series. Okay, what's next? Here is games catalog. So some advertising of the other games that were released by SSI. At the time of this game's release, here's advertisement for clue books and stuff. <clears throat> then there is rule book. So the game's menu. Warranty on the left side, on the first page. And here the table of contents. Okay, introduction, what should contain this game box, discs, rule, rule book, data card and adventure journal, or is here. Beginning to play, creation of new characters. Here's the interface. Good. Something about NPCs.
items adventuring what's next camping and magic Spell preparation, encounters, combat. Good, and after combat, on the back side there is advertisement for a clue book to this game. Good, and the last thing is the adventurer's journal. So a book booklet enhancing the storytelling. Here are the credits. Take a look at the people who made this game. Good. And here are the table of contents. It's a thick booklet. It is usual so something about the story that happened before this game in the first game in the series some letter and here we get to important geographic features so some map races that inhabit the game world abilities Classes, what else? That's all the classes here. Something about the alignment. So, this is everything ADD rules building successful party. Something more about the classes. Yeah. Armor class and to hit armor class zero, all the familiar stuff of AD&D. Something about weapons. Something about spells, all the descriptions of the cleric and mage spells. Yeah, here are the mage spells. Here are some enemies from the game. Good, and here are the Journal entry entries that you should read on several parts of the game where you, when you pre play and the game asks you to do so, to read a journal entry. So this saves some space, also some map here, and at the end there are some tables, weapon armor here. Spell tables, experience tables, everything. And here is also the glossary of some terms. Okay, and that is all that was in the box. I thank you very much for watching this video.